The other feature we're super excited about for doing cinematic VR is Timeline. It's a simple drag and drop tool for creating animations and sequences. And to tell you about Timeline, I want to bring up to the stage from Unity, Sarah Stumbo and Mike Weatherick. Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is Mike. If you've heard us speak before, you probably know how excited we are here at Unity for what many are calling cinematic VR. It might be a VR film, like Zero Days. Or it might be a 360 video, just like what Natalie showed us. Or it could be a linear story with some interaction programmed in, like Asteroids. But up until now, cinematic VR has always had one thing in common. The audience is a single one, and that is the wearer of the headset. There's also a much larger audience when you consider streaming and mixed reality. This is a massive opportunity to showcase your VR experience. Yes, how can we get VR developers to take advantage of this much larger audience? Hundreds of millions of hours of gaming video are streamed every single month. I know there are filmmakers in the audience here today, and I know you're all eager to produce amazing cinematics for a larger audience. With that, we'd like to introduce A Mighty Kingdom. A Mighty Kingdom is a god mode concept demo created to showcase the latest cinematic features in Unity. We were inspired by classics like Warcraft and Clash of Clans and wanted to explore what that might look like in a VR environment. So before we jump into VR, let's take a quick look at how some of these th elements were created. OK, so here in the scene, we have one of the many buildings that, that can be placed to defend your kingdom. Each of the buildings has multiple states that will be triggered during the gameplay. Each state is a series of animations, particle effects, and audio that are triggered in sequence with Timeline. So the power of Timeline's track-based sequencing is that the artists were able to create these sequences without any help from the engineers. You can create any number of sequences like this and trigger them at any point during gameplay. So speaking of gameplay, let's jump into VR and see how this comes together. All right, so I'm currently in design mode. I have this design palette here with buildings I can select from to protect my kingdom from the enemies. I'm simply going to select one of these buildings and place them in the world. As soon as I do that, it'll trigger one of the timeline sequences that Mike just showed. So watching VR as a spectator has always been a bit of a challenge. So let's enable mixed cast so we can better see what Sarah is doing. By integrating the Mixcast SDK into the project, we can easily stream VR games using Mixed Reality. To find out more about Mixcast, they have a session tomorrow at 3. So how's it going, Sarah? Good. I just want to place one more bunker to make sure my kingdom's extra safe from the enemies. All right. I think we're good. As soon as I select Battle Mode, it'll trigger a timeline sequence with cinematics that'll take over the gameplay. Enjoy. What you just saw was a timeline sequence set to override. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what you just saw was a timeline sequence set to override the display of the game for us, the viewing audience. Using a combination of timeline and Cinemachine, we can create player-directed cinematic experiences for our audience from within VR. Within VR, Sarah still sees things in world space animation, um, but for the streaming audience, it customized the, ex the experience for us. So Sarah, how's the battle going? Can we get a closer look at some of the units? Yeah, if I select one of these units in here, I can get a closer look exactly what's going on. I love the noises that they make. So when Sarah really selects aggressive. a unit or building in the game, the output for us changes to a procedurally generated timeline sequence using Cinemachine. 
So using Cinemachine's cloud system, it dynamically figures out the, pre the appropriate camera angle and builds a movie for us, the viewer. Every individual unit and building in the game has multiple different timeline sequences set up to be triggered at different points. Right now, you're literally seeing hundreds of timeline sequences being triggered and run dynamically during the battle in progress. So how's our battle going? Um, to be honest, it looks like I'm about to lose. <laughs> but I do have the secret weapon. I have this hammer here. And all I got to do is boom. So we just showed you three aspects of cinematic VR, using timeline to create dynamic world space interactions triggered from within VR using animation, audio, and effects, and how timeline and Cinemachine can help you create tailored broadcasts for your streaming audience. We also showed you how integrating a mixed reality system like Mixcast can drastically improve your user's ability to present VR content to a larger audience. If you're interested in some of the development steps behind this demo that you just saw, Come to our session at 3.30 today. Thank you. Hey, I'm uh, randomly Chris Milk. I'm CEO, co-founder of Within. And I'm Aaron Koblen, co-founder and CTO of Within. We're excited to be here today to share with you some of the new developments from our company. So what is Within? So we're an application that lives on just about every VR and mobile device. You can see a few of the projects here. We launched, originally we were called Verse, and we were specializing in cinematic VR with spatialized sound. I come from a background in music videos and filmmaking, and the first thing that really attracted me to VR was the feeling of presence that I was able to achieve with real spaces and real people. So we're still making a lot of these kind of projects. Um, I think this is behind me, uh, the fifth episode of the original series that we've made called The Possible. It was directed by David Gelb, who directed Year of Dreams of Sushi, and he created Chef's Table for Netflix. So the first thing we were really excited about was photorealistic places. The second thing that blew our minds was the magic that occurs when you can share experiences in real time with your friends. So we've been thinking about VR and AR experiences that can borrow from both gaming and filmmaking to take you and your friends on a crafted journey together. The first project in this vein is called Life of Us. It has music from Pharrell Williams, and we're going to show you a short clip of what that looks like today. So what you just saw were some of the stages of evolution that you passed through during a billion year process that's been condensed down to seven and a half minutes. Up to four friends can go on the adventure together, and you can, thanks to Unity, enjoy it across a variety of different VR headsets. The pioneers like Jaren Lanier realized long ago that embodying creatures in virtual reality was an incredible experience. And sharing that experience with your friends was infinitely more fun. Talking together as tadpoles for the first time for Aaron and I was a completely surreal experience, but was, what was amazing about it was how we could still recognize the humanity of each of us inside this low polygon form. What's more, using modified voices, both of yourself and of your friends, gave you an excuse to actually become the creature, or at least act like an 18-year-old huffing helium. 
We believe that shared experiences are deeply connecting and that storytelling in shared environments is an entirely new medium ripe for ex exploration. Today, we're excited to announce that Life of Us will be launching in IMAX experience centers globally later this year and followed by a release on with an app shortly after. So Life of Us is the first of many more real-time render projects we're developing in Unity. Others coming later this year will build off the same technology that we built for this, including exciting new projects with OKGo OK and Spike Jones. And one of the great things about working in Unity is the incredible community of talented creators working to push the medium forward. There's a lot to learn about what makes great VR, and we're excited and inspired to see what people like you are doing uh, today in this new, this new medium. So we hope you enjoy Life of Us. You can see it downstairs. And we look forward to an exciting new future in VR and AR with all of you. Thanks Thank you. a lot.